I want to show you in today's video how I've been utilizing AI, more specifically 11 labs, to create new audios, new hooks, and new variables for our UGC content at PitAdvertising.com. Now, if you're new to the channel and this is your first time seeing my face on your screen, my name is Justin and I'm the founder at PitAdvertising.com, an online marketing growth firm specializing in elevating thriving brands by simplifying e-commerce growth. With that said, we spent about $9.6 million on ads in the last year and on track to spend a little over $10 million this year. So let's get straight into the video. As you can see on my screen, I I've got 11 labs opened up now. This is where the magic happens. So if you're unfamiliar with your UI, it's quite simple. So on your speech, you essentially simply put in the text you want the AI to say. You would pick a voice or make a custom voice and tune the settings of that voice to give you a fully AI made audio file. Now, that's the very quick intro to it. But more specifically, I want to show you three different ads today that we made at the agency, whereas the voice over at least certain parts of the video, which I'll walk you through in a second, are made entirely by AI. So the this one, for example, all of the audio, the entire audio is fully done by AI. So let's start playing it right now. Immediately balanced out my skin tone. And after several weeks, my fine lines and little wrinkles have disappeared. This is incredible. I didn't believe in the power of natural skincare for my wrinkles, but this actually works. This is the sacred serum and it's so powerful. I could not believe it when all I right, stopped. So I'll stop it right here. This is just kind of the bit I wanted to show you right there. The entire audio on this one is made by AI. And let me show you one last one, which is much shorter, actually, that it's also done entirely AI wise. All right, so let's start playing the second piece. Take your feminine hygiene routine to the next level. I use it every day to feel clean and smell irresistible. You and your man will thank me. All right, so quite a wild UGC piece right there. Uh, it's a client I've shown a couple of times now on YouTube. It's one of these clients essentially that's selling more of a sex-based product. But with that said, this was entirely done by AI. So was the previous one. Now we use AI for different reasons. So one of the reasons we'd usually use AI is if a client usually comes into the agency, a lot of the time for the first couple of days, we don't necessarily have had the chance to produce new assets on our end, right? It's not like we are able to spit out new UGC pieces within two or three days. It takes a couple of weeks before UGC starts kicking in and rolling in from the creators that we're working with. So that said, we're usually going to repurpose a lot of the UGC assets the client would have. And the thing is, as we always say, to repurpose any existing footage a client has, if the footage was performing great, they probably wouldn't have worked with us in the first place, right? Because if we just use the same footage as they have as is, mash it up together, chances are like that's not going to get really much better results than what they were getting on their end. So we got to do something different. So one of the things that we'd like to do is doing a full AI based voiceover. So that way we're going to use a voice that sounds very, very true to life. Like it sounds human like essentially. And that's what I want to emphasize in this video. Yes, you can use an AI robot voice, a little bit like TikTok, right? The text to speech voice that does work. But I think what works better is something like this here where I say AI, but it sounds so real that to anybody listening to this, it just seems like a human is narrating in the background, right? It seems like some real person and did that. So it's adds some element of believability to this type of piece. So we'll usually use it just for speed, right? Speed the results initially, but also not to just simply repurpose one of their piece of content. A voiceover has a lot to do, right? With the, the pacing of the video. So as an example, you could give me a folder with a bunch of clips and I can make a whole new narrative, right? I can make a whole new script with a whole new voice and narrator in the background and have like all the new sub headlines or subtitles, I should say on screen to go along with that voice, which pretty much means apart from the full footage in the background, right? The different shots, let's say that we matched up together. Um, everything else is new, which means the whole concept is almost fully new. And that has a much better chance of performing than us simply just repurposing existing UGC they have and hopefully throwing it on the ads manager and hoping it, it performs again, right? So speed the results, but more specifically speeds to making a new concept is one of the reasons why we'll use an AI's voice generator like 11 labs as an example. So that's one of those examples here with this piece of content. The first one I actually showed you, um, an example is to usually reuse a voice of a performing creator or perhaps the makeup for a piece of content that the creator maybe just wasn't really good with their voice. It does happen. Believe me, when you work with humans, when you work with UGC creators, it happens that you have bad content. You receive bad content from the creator, you give them feedback and they still send you some content that you don't feel is up to your standards. And now you have different choices here. You either eat up the cost and then pay for a new piece of content, wait weeks again, and then find finally get it back or you make the best out of it. Well, a way to make the best out of it is to use an AI voiceover. If and usually most of the time the content we 
we get naturally from the creator, the, the, the shots in themselves, right? The videos and stuff that they give us, that content is usable. Usually what isn't usable is the voiceover. Sometimes for some reason, even though we've given them very clear guidelines and directions, we'll receive something that has um, a bad microphone. Perhaps you hear like wind in the background or there's like a very strong accent. And that usually happens when working with new creators. So one way to do it is to go into our backlog of voices that we have or creators that we know have a very clear voice. We can then go to 11 labs. We'd go to voices, create. We would clone a voice of a creator that we know performs great and has a very good and uplifting tone. And then we just use that voice to make the full voiceover of a video like this one. And one of the last use cases for us is to quickly test out new hook variation. So I'll quickly play the start of that video. Only the hook part of that video was done with an AI voiceover. I'm never using those harsh kitty washes again. Imbalanced pH can do a lot to mess things up down there. I told my girlfriend about it and she told me to get this drip of gel. I used it. All right, so now that this is done, essentially you could kind of hear a little bit the transition between the two voices. It's the same girl. It's the same girl that we just cloned the voice. So again, traditionally speaking, if you wanted to record a new hook, you would have to go back to the same creator, either hope they would record another version of the hook or have to pay them again to have a new version of that hook. Now you can just clone their voice and do an AI voiceover to test new hooks. The biggest variable or the most impactful variable in an ad is the hook, right? So if you had to iterate on a winning ad, so if this ad as an example gets great results and we want to iterate on it, then one of the best ways to do so is to simply create new hook variables from it. And usually again, obviously you wouldn't create an AI voiceover and have somebody like speak on screen and try to match with it. It's never going to work. But if you have footage like this here where she's not talking, right? She's just kind of acting at the start. Well, in that sense, we can put whatever we want in the background of it. And that's great for us in terms of editors, right? To just edit new hooks. So typically I'm either going to use some voices that 11 labs already have, but for the most part, I love to use clone voices. I think they're even better. They sound more true to life. Um, I don't know if they're pre-made voices, quite frankly, if they were made by AI or if it was like made from an actual person to me, they all sound a little bit AI wise. Like it sounds kind of too good to be true. Whereas any of our clone voices have the small little imperfections that a real voice have the little kind of ups and downs, the intonation. And again, it sounds a one. So I just clone my voice voice as an example, I made a very quick UGC script with ChatGPT for a cuts ad as an example. And I'll let you guys hear it right now. So let me play it for you. Ever struggled to find the perfect balance between office chic and casual comfort? That was me until I discovered the black prestige polo from cut. All right, I'll stop it right there. So with that said, it does sound pretty true to life right there. I think it does sound very close to me in itself. Obviously, it's quite monotone. The way to make it less monotone, I would just lower the stability threshold right here. So let me let me make an example for you. So I'm just going to bring this down, let's say to 32% stability. I'm going to generate a new voice and then I'll show you in a second. Ever struggled to find the perfect balance between office chic and casual comfort? That was me until I... All right, so now let me hit play for you. You're going to see my intonation at the start is a little bit more upbeat, a little bit more like higher pitched. So listen to it. Ever struggled to find the perfect balance between office chic and casual comfort? That was me until I discovered the black prestige polo from Cuts. It's not- There you go. I think again, that sounds very close to me. It's, it's a very, very good cloning of my voice. I've tried it by the way, because we also have clients that speak Spanish and some that uh, do French ads. I've tried the voice cloning in other languages because they do offer it in a bunch of different languages. French, I have a lot of French Canadian clients and that in itself isn't the most optimal. The French Canadian accent just isn't really picked up that much by the AI. So it'll usually do like a weird French from France like accent. So anyways, English, I think especially American English accents, the the translation from it or the, the way the AI will pick up your voice is usually very good. I've noticed even if you have a slight accent in English, it's still going to pick up your accent and clone your accent quite good, which again, very interesting. But to recap the different uses I make of AI voiceovers, number one, speed the results. So I'll just get all the video content I have from a client and make a whole new storyline, a whole new concept by making a new UGC script, having the subtitles on screen that back up the script and having a fully AI made voiceover. So that's one. Number two is going to be to either make up for a bad UGC piece that we got and to kind of replace that audio with an AI made audio. 
or three, which is going to be to iterate on an existing winning ad. So instead of having to go back to the creator, we can quickly make new variations of that same winning ad. There's obviously other use cases that we made in the past, such as making like a testimonial mashup. So you do a mashup of a bunch of ads together, but that's quite close to the first scenario, right? I said time to results. So no matter what type of mashup you're thinking about, if you mash everything up together and you make like a whole new UGC script and have it done by AI, it does the trick. Now, if you made it all the way through and you want to work with a paid ads partner on Facebook, TikTok, and or Google, perhaps to also make you these UGC or static and video creatives, click the link down below and book in a call to work with us at paidadvertising.com. And if you do want to learn more about our ways of advertising, perhaps even our research process, also check out the link below and join our free school community. On that note, going to wish you an amazing day. Check out other videos on the channel for some more useful e-commerce marketing tips, and I'll see you in next video. Peace.